everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have my annual um, 2023 update of my Star Wars Jenga Fett collection. Um, it's in the new room now. I mentioned this last year that I would be moving rooms because my brother was finishing his basement. And uh, this is now in my uh, a small bedroom in my, my mother's house. Um, so I'll be talking about that a little bit more as we go through the video. So let's go ahead and get a close-up on the collection, and I will try and point out any of the, the new figures or items that are different from last year. So we'll start over here on this shelf, and of course the most obvious one is the life-size sideshow Django Pet bust. Um, I've made two videos on this one technically, one exclusively with this one, and then I have my completed Django Fett bust collection video. Um, where you can see this one as well. Um, of course, the centerpiece of my collection is the first thing everybody sees when they come into the room. Um, probably the most valuable collectible that I own as well. Um, looks awesome. Never thought I would ever own one of these, so super happy and pleased to have that in my collection. I still have the Return of Honor poster, and then this is the Sideshow Django Fett statue. Um, and then I still have my frame that just has a lot of pictures and videos of Jenga Fett that I found online. Kind of cool, kind of distracting, so I don't leave it on very often. Just kind of when I'm showing my collection, I'll leave that on for people to see. Alright, down here we have Jenga Fett hat, watch. Um, this one is new. Let me turn it on. It lights up. Um, my sister's husband makes these custom little themed lanterns, and he made me a Jenga Fett one for my collection. Um, and then I, I painted the lantern silver and put a blue light in it, so it's really cool. It's like the only thing in my collection that lights up, so it kind of stands out that way. Also why it's kind of in a dark corner, because it'll still look nice there. This is the foam, foam disc Jenga Fett gauntlet toy game. And then, sorry, all this stuff is in the dark. I still have my my blasters. The stand is new. Um, just got this on eBay. Um, looks really really good. I like it propped up and displayed that way. Then we have the the dual blasters, which these are the ones that I painted myself because they're like a really ugly orange white before, and the stand is new as well. Let's put that back, and then we have another Jenga Fett blaster that lights up and makes sounds kind of in the back corner there, and then we have a tiny one that lights up and makes sounds when you fire it, but I think the batteries are still dead in that one, I haven't gotten to that yet. And then you'll see a lot of these in my collection, these are new. I got a lot of the Jenga Fett Halloween costumes, the Rubies ones. As a little kid, I, I always wanted to be Jenga Fett for Halloween, and I was once. Um, but I spent a lot of time looking at the Halloween costumes growing up, and so now, as an adult, I'm slowly collecting the costumes. I think I still need two two more of them. Now um, here we have the the cars on the side. I did open one of them for my all of Jenga Fett Save One video. <clears throat> um, and you'll see that. And I, I this is kind of on my to do list. I want to make a video of these these two as well because I think they're really cool. Alright and then here's another helmet from the Jenga Fett Halloween costumes and here's another mask right here it's a little bit different Let's see if that will go back nicely oh, all right yeah. yeah that's fine for now and then these aren't new just have another hat a mask and a little beanie cap moving on up over here this one's new this is a lounge fly jenga fett purse and this is the lounge fly jenga fett backpack that one's not new uh, <clears throat> and then I have all three of the Jenga Fett helmets. Um, these are the Rubies ones. This is the single piece. Um, this is a single piece. This is a two piece. Um, and yeah, cool to have plenty. <laughs> None of them look anything like the renderings on the box. <laughs> Rubies is kind of a scammy company. <laughs> but. I, I like having all three of them. Um, they're good for display. And then here we have the Rise of Boba Fett Slave 1. Um, still just an awesome 
piece. I love that one so much. And we have the Twelve Inch Figure Collection. If you've seen my videos, you're familiar with these. I've done a lot on these guys. Here's the Hot Toys and the Sideshow. One of the things I want to upgrade my collection with sometime is lights, because these are just like battery powered puck lights. I'd like to get some like LED strips or something that actually plugs in. So it's not just battery power. Right here I have my Jenga Fett helmet magnet. It's missing his rangefinder, so I need to try and find one that has the rangefinder. And I still have the Mythosaur necklace just hanging in there. Here we have my Jenga Fett busts, the gentle giant busts. That's the gen giant helmet, Jenga Fett Unleashed, um, the Attackus, and Coin Bank. And I think I've made videos on all of those except for the Unleashed and the Gentle Giant. Okay, here we have, this one's pretty new and I like this one a lot. This is a Hallmark ornament. Um, and this is the stand for the Jenga Fett Eggheads. I guess that's the advantage of being a character collector. <laughs> you can have, you know, you can swap out your stands for different figures and stuff. Um... This is the last Jenga Fit bust I got to complete my collection, so that one's kind of cool, unique, special that way. Here's the MoMA again, out of the plastic case it was in last year, um, just as my collection downsized in the space that I'm in a little bit. Um, I ended up taking him out of his box and putting him inside the cases. And then my Jenga Fit snow globe, mug, socks, room alarm, um, walkie-talkie, and... I can't remember that one's name right now. Kotobukiya, I think that's the, that's that one. Um, and then here on the bottom, we have my complete Django Fett Slave 1 collection. And I have a video with all of these in one video. So if you're interested in seeing more on these guys, be sure to go check that out. This one is not in the complete Django Fett collection video, though. I had a commenter on the video telling me I was missing one. And that one was a little hard to find because it's technically listed as a Boba Fett slave one, but has the Jenga Fett colors. So I went ahead and, and got it, and I'll be making a video on that one, kind of a standalone. It, it's kind of an interesting piece. All right, and then here we have my Jenga Fett Fatties collection. And then just kind of a mixed bag over here. We have the Technic Bionicle, um, can't remember that one. I think that's character collectible. Uh, Force Battlers. This one's new. This is a another Hallmark ornament, which is really cool. And then I have a Jenga Fett pen and coin, um, and a mini right here for a game piece. This part of the collection is relatively the same, but obviously still cool to look at. Um, have my complete Lego collection here. Some custom Legos. Um, you know, Pepsi, bottle caps, the plushes, the Rubik's Cube, Pez, <laughs> my complete Funko collection, which I did a video on earlier this year, and then, yeah, some more busts, Bear Bricks, Mighty Bean, <laughs> just a lot in here. Alright, and then this next part, we have the complete Jenga Fett 3 and 3 quarter hinge collection, which I love. I love watching those videos and collecting these ones was a lot of fun. Some of the ones up top I haven't done a video on yet. Sorry, I'm battling with my focus today. Um, but they're about the same size as the three and three quarter inch video. Or sorry, three and three quarter inch figures. So I'd like to do a video on them soon. I'll probably just do them all in one video. But that is coming soon. And then I have a lot of the miniatures and tinies right here and I think a lot of these are the same um, this one might be new this is the, the pilot figure for one of the new slave one ships that came out this one's new this is the this one right here is the Jenga Fett Shatterpoint figure for the game it's unpainted though because I don't know how to paint <laughs> um, also a little bit of a mixed bag in here we have the Jenga Fett Ronin SH Figure Arts, Toy Box, Eggheads, Black Series, and Transformer. Um, this one is a bubble bath, or, or like hand soap. 
holder from Australia, which is really cool. I was kind of excited to get the, this one. They're kind of hard to come by. Then we have the titanium, the thermos, Jenga Fett Funko pin, and then behind all that we have the Jenga Fett lunchbox. Um, and that is everything I have on display in my collection. All of the apparel that I used to have, I used to have above top of my collection is now just in a closet. <laughs> and I have a lot of the Jenga Fett Halloween costumes like I mentioned. And those are just also in storage because I had to downsize the the place where I was displaying my collection. And so I'm running into a common problem of collectors where I don't have enough space for all my collectibles that I have. Um, but hopefully someday I'll be able to expand it out into a bigger space because all the books I have are just behind those little mannequin heads. And I, I liked having those on display. Um, my video last year, a lot of my books were on display, but they do take up a lot of space when you do that. Um, and yeah, I painted the wall behind the collection black. I just feel like the black looks the best. It makes the figure stand out the most. Um, it just looks clean and nice, and I had a friend help me paint the wall black. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's about everything. I do still have this poster. This Jenga Fett poster on this side of my room. Because uh, it wouldn't fit on this wall with all the rest of the stuff. So, thanks so much for checking out the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun collecting it and working on this collection. And see you guys again next year for another collection update. See you.